let's talk about our siding system. Imagine this is our interior timbers, our timber frame structure. The walls themselves are traditionally framed. And as we work our way out, our first step instead of a conventional plywood product is this lintia oil painted pine tongue and groove. After our sheathing was fully installed, we needed to think about how we were going to do our flashing. And so we created our own copper flashing. So this is nailed with copper nails uh, to our pine sheathing, kind of way back here in uh, the wall system. Next up, we have our copper bug screen. We went with a flexible uh, bug screen material. After this, we are gonna have to have some kind of house wrap. But after kind of seeing how modern tar paper works, it made sense to switch over to something we've been developing for some time. Here is our earth and flax natural tar paper. We're using a 100% you know, recycled fiber paper and we're impregnating it with natural pine tar. So saturating the material until it really can't take more. And then from there, we have our continuous two inch comfort board insulation and you can see that it meets uh, the roofing continuous insulation nice little continuous coat around the new addition and from there we have our rain screen this was a, is a pretty massive rain screen i mean the convention can range uh, from a quarter inch to an inch so our fasteners are the same that we use in our roofing system these are from rotoblast and you can see they have uh, some little barbs here at the top and that allows you to catch your furring strip as you screw in to mat, uh, hit your stud on the interior wall and allow for easy adjustment so that you don't over uh, compress your exterior uh, comfort board insulation. So our full rain screen is installed and from there we are ready to start our siding install. So we'll have a bug screen down here, we'll have bug screen uh, up here and then uh, this nice air gap behind our siding and we'll leave a nice gap here between our roofing sheathing and our cedar siding. This is to mimic our metal roof. So you can kind of see how the air can circulate throughout our siding system and throughout our roofing system. This is a good overview. I hope it gets the wheels turning. And if you have any questions or input, we'd love to hear from you. So feel free to leave a comment below. And if you wanna follow along with all our upcoming videos, please like and subscribe.